Next tonight to Charlotte, where overnight chaos erupting anger after a deadly police shooting there. Tonight they are bracing for more unrest. Protesters taking to the streets after the death of an African American father. Hours later it turned violent. 16 officers were injured. Tonight the police and the family with two very different stories and ABC's Eva Pilgrim is in Charlotte. The fury erupts after this. A man shot by an officer lies motionless on the ground. All officers are 10 4. We got one suspect down. But 43 year old Keith Lamont Scott does not survive. This video appears to come from his daughter at the scene. The police just shot my daddy four times for being black. Tonight, police in Charlotte, North Carolina, and Scott's family and neighbors disagree about what happened. Police say he was armed. The truth is, that man was sitting in his car minding his business. Early evening Tuesday, protesters take to the street. After dark, it turns explosive. Large crowds try to overturn this police car. People pour to the scene, blocking a major highway, looting trucks in their path, throwing these boxes in a pile and setting them on fire. One terrified driver calls for help. Stay on the back of the trailer as we speak. These protesters scuffling with police. Officers use flash grenades and tear gas to send the crowds away as 16 officers are hurt. Tonight, authorities identifying the officer who fired the shot as Brentley Vinson, also African American and now on paid leave. Police admitting tonight that Scott wasn't the person they were looking for, but say when they came upon him, they were forced to shoot. Mr. Scott exited his vehicle armed with a handgun as the officers continued to yell at him to drop it. Police say they later recovered that gun. Our affiliate WSOC obtaining this photo of a gun recovered at the scene. But Scott's family tonight still has many questions. The son was in school. He was waiting on his son he was to get on off the, off the bus. Eva Pilgrim with us live tonight in Charlotte. And Eva, you've learned that there is body cam footage that might help answer some of these questions. That's right, David. There is body cam video of the scene, but police say they will not release it until this investigation is complete. David. Eva Pilgrim live at the scene tonight. Eva, thank you.